I'm a little, little me, little me, little me. Uh, oh, maybe I should wear the dollar glasses since this is about dollars. Hey, Josie, how are you? Land shark picker, Arthur. So, <laughs> seems like all the people that hate me still come around and leave thumbs down before the video starts, which is fine by me. You guys do what you got to do. I'm going to do me. Um, that stuff don't bother me. It really don't. Uh, this is my hobby. I'm documenting what I'm doing. You never know. You know, I'd love to know what my grandfather did. My great-grandfather did. Um I know that for five generations, they were in China. The last one that was in China, being porcelain type dinnerware, um, was my grandfather at Lenox, China. And then four generations before him in England, worked in China at some point. Somewhere's in there, one of them actually had... Um, their own manufacturing. I didn't know that. Um, it was found out through people doing research about my family history. Um, she sells by Sue. Keep me company while I'm driving home. Only if you give us a bolo, Sue. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so here's the deal, guys. None of this is mine, okay? What I'm going to show you is not mine. This is what I do. Um, when I when I did the reading glasses before and all the other things, this is what I did. Um, it never caught on for me. This dollar thing really seems to be catching on for me. Uh, I really, really, really enjoy what I'm doing. Um I have sorted sorted the money. There was a video earlier. I did some uh, thumbnails. Uh, I'm actually trying to find out if it's uh, what the see. I got a box full of money. Um, these are actually the ones I'm saving. Uh, if you watched, hey Pat, how are you? If you watched my earlier video. Um, when I did the reveal of what I found out of the 2600, I showed this bill right here. I don't, I'm hoping I can get it. See it right there. The serial number ends in X. Uh, I found out what that was for. The X is the series of bills that were ran. Um, money for Mars, thank you. Um, this really is going to be about my hobby, guys. So don't think I'm going to give a lot of information out about how to do reselling or anything. This is more about buying. I, I'm going to be selling some of this money. But the X on the end and the reason he pulled it out is because how late in the series the bill is. They like the early series. And then they like the very end of the series. This is one of the end notes that yes. So I did find out what that means. So basically what I want to do, and I, I may do this five times a week, four times a week, two times a week, once a week. Who the hell knows? But basically, um, basically what's going to happen is, I'm going to go in and show you different keywords that I search the sold listings and show you some of the different listings I look at, some of the listings that catch my eye, the reasons why they catch my eye. Um, I wish I could, like, operate my computer better. But for me, I, I'm just showing you. Now, take out the dollar. And substitute any product you want 
and this will work for reselling. This is this is not new. This is not some trick that I found. This is not. This is how I started way back when. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to be able to see the comments, guys, because I got to switch screens. Um, so I'm going to switch over right now. And then I'm going to show you and talk you through. Understand if you ask me a question, I'm not going to see the question. I'll try and come back every couple of minutes and check and make sure there's no questions. Um, it's a hard part of doing a live show by yourself. Um, so here, here goes nothing. The first one is very obvious. I typed in $1 bill star note. Now, for those that don't know what a star note is, let me open this one. And I'm picking this one because it's got a, the picture is going to be the biggest. Uh, so you can see it. All right. This is a star note. In the series number, serial number, this last digit right here is a star. And the reason it's a star is pretty simple. Okay. They remade this bill. A bill came out of um, circulation. The mint destroyed it. Sorry. The mint destroyed it. And this bill came out of circulation. Now, I'm going to go back. Because I want to start at the beginning, but I want to show you in case you didn't understand what a star note was, what a star note is. The first thing I do is I just kind of scroll through and look at the titles. Um, and I'm looking at the images to see which images really catch my eye. See this one? This one is just, and then this one, you can't really see what he's trying to sell. Uh same thing with all of these. I'm hoping I find it. Now, look, here's a guy that's selling all of them, 99 cents plus a dollar. If you do the math on this, he's barely making two cents on these bills. He spent time pulling these out. And what he's hoping for is that they paid a dollar shipping and buy four or five of them. So he picks up in volume. Uh, as you can tell, he's a volume seller. They were all on the 31st. Uh, there's no real, this is an okay picture, but later on you'll see some really good pictures. So the first thing I noticed was all these star notes I'm digging out don't bring a lot of money. 250 599 He says this is rare. Um, what I can do is go like this, and you can actually look this up. Let's see how rare this bill is. All right. The site I use is called mycurrencycollection.com. You go to the reference pages right here, star note lookup. It is free. Um, this is a 13. Okay. Don't need that. No spaces. I thought he said it was a 13. Oh, it's a nine. Sorry. My fault. I thought it was a 13. It is a nine. 2009. Look it up. K0040. It doesn't have enough numbers. 960. He didn't even put the right serial number in his title. And it's a short run of 640,000. It's barely in the rare. Um, this will not tell you the value of your bill. It will not tell you if it's a low number or any of that. It's just a small run. So it makes it a little harder to find. But it ain't, it ain't rare. Um, whoops. 
it's not rare. So, let me see. So, as you'll see later on, there's some better images. Now, this one's okay because it shows the condition of the whole bill. This one as well. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, see, he, he, he looked up the serial number for you. Um, I probably did. I probably would not have taken an image of it, but actually done a screenshot. Uh, so it's flatter and cleaner. And I probably would have cut some of it out so it looks better. Maybe circle what the note is. Um, his description's not bad. Shipped securely in a bubble envelope with tracking number. So, you know, most of this shipping is going to get eaten up. But be careful here, guys. See this? He didn't even have the right serial number. Somebody that understands money would have picked that up right away. I, I haven't looked at it enough, so I don't see it as quickly. So, Star Notes is what everybody looks for but there's rare ones and uh this is my box here these are the ones i think i'm gonna keep what's in here these are the ones i'm keeping i have one that i looked up before that is rare um, I don't know if it'll show up. Let me see if I can get it to show up. Uh, it's 2017 J. Nope. Shift J. Nope. It's not on this screen. Sorry, guys. Um, so let me switch back over. Land shark. I like my steaks medium rare. Barely rare is still rare, right? I don't know. Um, I'm not an expert in this, so I really don't know, Land Shark Picker. Um, child finds this fun. Yeah, it is fun, Pat, because you can just sit there and mindlessly sort this stuff. Um, on the $2 bills, uh, you, you got to look. Um, the, the $2 bills, uh, most of them bring back more than face value. I don't understand that, um, especially the uncirculated ones. Uh, that's how I like my steak. Medium rare is too done. I've already ordered the plastic um, sleeves. They're just not here yet. I, I started this three days ago, guys. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it. Uh, let me switch screens again so I can go back to work because I really want to find one. Oh, no. That's because I got to go here. Um, I really want to find one that has a better image. See? This is a little bit better, but some of these images, see, this guy does a really nice image here. I really like this. I love his bid price. He has a, what's called a, a solid. This is called a nearly solid 666606. And he started the bid, it looks like it's $66, which was great. This is what I put in here, $1 bill solid. Um, this bill, listen, most of these bills I have are pretty beat up. So although condition is everything, on these, my bills are pretty beat up anyway. Uh, I don't have one. That is as near as his was, but I have this one. 
I got to switch screens again. Um, but this is what I do, guys, and I don't rush through. I, and what you see me doing right now, sometimes I'll stop looking for five minutes and I'll go on Facebook. All right, let's see if I can get that in close enough so you can see it. The serial number on this is one three 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 zero. It's almost perfect. It's almost a solid. On eBay, they bring more money than what they're actually worth. I don't know why these people pay so much on eBay, but I'm also not going to ask a lot of questions. They call it a near solid. I, I don't... I, I could see where somebody collecting may want it. Um, and that's what these people are, I guess, are collectors. Personally, I don't see the value in it, especially like this. Trailing solid quad of zero, zero, zero. This bill ends in four zeros is all it is. But it brought a few dollars. 425, he probably gets back. I know at two at 276, I make 52 cents. Um, so he's probably making, uh, two, uh, he's probably making about two bucks on this bill. It's not a lot of money. It's more about, especially for me, it's about finding the rarer ones. Um, but these are bills that are, you know, solid means the numbers are three, 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 three in numerical. I mean, right in order. Uh, that's what solid means. Solid quad sevens with five of a kind seven. Um, this I found interesting because of the price it, it brought. Um, it's seven, 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 eight, seven. Um, interesting that he was able to get eighteen dollars and sixty cents for it, plus two ninety nine shipping and handling. That's quite a bit of money for that. Um, what I am finding, a lot of these people don't have a lot of feedback. Uh, nobody has like I didn't find anybody yet with like crazy amounts of feedback. This one I really liked. I would really like to find a bill like this. It is seven ones, six leading, a seven, and a one. Um, and as you can tell, look at the date, October 29th. This is three days ago this thing sold, guys. Somebody probably pulled this out of a bank. Um bundle like I've been searching and that's what they found I was hoping to get the picture to come up but I don't know why I can't I got the description but I can't get the picture I don't know guys sorry but this is all I do I sit here and I go through and I look and I I like this picture here. Um, I don't like how he set up this. And when you come in to their listings, they have very little information. Um, it seems like the people that are buying these things get all their information pretty much from the image more than they do from the description. Solid fives, five, 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 five. Um, I actually have several $2 bills. Um, I had mentioned them before. I'm going to auction them off starting Sunday. Uh, let's see. Here's a good one. This is a $2 bill, guys. I got to switch screen so I can see what the hell I'm doing with the camera because I'm not really good with the camera. I hope you can see that. It's 5555. Five, five, five. There's 
five to I'm, I'm sorry, two, 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 five, six, two. That guy that had the five, uh, you know, the six of kind, I got one right there. I actually have two of these. I have the five, seven, two as well. And I also have four other ones with the front five deuces that I'll be auctioning off starting Sunday. Um, are you planning on shipping with tracking, John? For the most part, no. Uh, is it a gamble? Yes. Um, I'm not really going to lose. I'm still going to eat my dinner. Land Shark Picker. I understand what you're saying. I haven't reached out to eBay yet to find out what I do as a bill seller. If the only thing I lose is top rated seller and the discount, they can have the freaking 30 cents or whatever it comes out to. Um, it's really, listen, I'm not looking to make a lot of money. Now, if I find a rare bill and I sell it, that's fine. No, I, I have a secret eBay account um, just for this. I'm not going to wreck my, my primary store. Uh, I know that'll hurt my primary store. I do know that. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not being naive here. Um, the one thing is, is, uh, this is a hobby and it can get expensive. There's things that you need. Uh, I, I've already ordered a machine to count the money in the straps. Well, I have, I literally have a bag full of freaking money. I have a bag full of money that has to go to the bank on Monday. All right. I don't know if you can see that. Nah, you can't see it. It's, but it is a bag full of money. It's pretty sickening. Uh, the banks were so busy, I just didn't bother them today. I'm not trying to. See, Pat's going to do the same thing. If he sells anything, he's going to sell it on his second account, not on his main account. Guys, I'm. I, I really anything I sell. Is only because I, I I see that eBay will pay money for it, and it will help support my hobby. It'll help support me doing this. It'll help support buying gas or something for Lori and I to run around to the different banks because we want to take day trips out and find different banks and buy money from those banks and sort through it. Um, that's just something we want to do. Uh, the machine was, I don't know, $80 or something to count the bills in the straps. Um, so I'm just looking to offset my cost. Not that I have to. I just thought it would be a good idea. Um, so the next one I want to show you, the next search I did, is uh, I put the dollar sign, one dollar bill, liars, poker. Okay, these are five of a kind. They actually pay for them. One, 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 one. This is a six of a kind. Um, here it is four sevens with a five, uh, fifth one here. Two dollars. This one has what the hell is this? This one has four of a kind. I See, he used the word liar's poker to get people to look at this bill. Um, any one of these five of a kinds when you play this game would beat it. I'm not sure why. See, this is a misleading title to me. Um, zero, 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 zero. This should not be listed at liar's poker. Um, I would list this as a trinary with four leading zeros in it. 
there's four leading zeros in that um, serial number, which makes it actually a lower number. Although he's still got the 609, including shipping. Um, three $1 bills, good for liars poker, worn U.S. currency, $12.95. This is back in September. These don't sell as frequently. Um, but they all seem to be profitable when they sell. Okay. So I pulled out the five of a kinds. Uh, this is interesting because this is what they call a flipper. Um, I don't know if you can see this. But this is 906-69990. That's read backwards. If you turn the bill around to the way you can read it, you still read the numbers correctly. It only works with nine zeros and sixes. Very hard to find what they call a flipper. Um, it's a trinary or a binary, meaning it only has two numbers or three numbers in the serial number. This really doesn't work with eights. Because the eights are shaped a little different. Um, but these five of a kinds. Now this is a star note. I'm not sure why they put poker in it. But that's why it pulled it up. This is. See this is a good picture. I like this picture. Because it shows what you're trying to sell. Which is the serial number. I can't see the serial number here. It's not in the title. I actually have to look to see what this is. Um, when you see this, FRN, it's the Federal Reserve uh, uh, National Bank. I don't know why it doesn't show what it is. This is a low run. What is this? Must be a star. It is a star note because they put low 80,000 run. Um, here's a thousand dollar bill, guys. I have been asking when I go to the bank, do you have a thousand dollar bill? Uh, see, I actually think this is worth more as a trinary than trying to auction it off on liar's poker. The one thing I'm noticing with some of this is. With the liar's poker, on the auctions, they're very small bids. When you do a buy it now, they seem to sell for more. It's, is it true? I don't know. Ask me in about a month after I look at this every single day. I'll be in here looking. I'm probably going to do a video every time I do um, so you can watch me do this. Seems like people tend to like to watch me not seeing anything. You're showing, John. Why aren't you seeing it? Not seeing anything you're showing, John. I wasn't. I was showing on the screen, Landshark Picker. I'm not sure what you missed. I didn't. I wasn't holding any bills up. Um. This is where I'm at, right? Yeah. So, and you know, every day I come in here and I, I spend, my wife will tell you, I probably spend three, four hours just sitting here looking. And she's like, what are you looking at? I'm looking at eBay. This is, uh, I put in dollar one, uh, dollar sign one, dollar bill ladder. Like a ladder you climb up. What that means is, I don't, I, don't, I don't, this, this is probably one, let me open this up and we'll find out. The fancy, you know, he put look instead of like trying to get the serial number in here. And FRN, stand, I believe it's Federal Reserve note. Let's zoom over this. There it is. Uh, 
I can't show it to you, but if you look at the serial number, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a broken ladder or a mixed ladder. That's why he got so much for it. Um, now, on eBay, people pay for these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's only got one full ladder here, and he's basically donating two other bills because the full ladder would, would have brought $25. Um, this is a mixed ladder. This description's not, he only got nine. Here's a guy that made, who lost money selling a dollar bill. He got one bid for 99 cents with free shipping. I know that some of these auctions run for, they start them at 99 cents with free shipping, and they actually do very well. Um, these ladders are are strange to me. Now, here's one, five, six, eight, six, eight, six, eight, seven. Um, serial pair, repeater, and ladder. It's pretty cool. Um Again, he barely made any money. I'm not sure why he would sell it so cheap. Um, unless he found the dollar in his... Even if you found the dollar, it's still worth more as a dollar. Uh, I don't understand sometimes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would have probably been bidding on this if I could have. I probably would have tried to snip this one, okay? Based on these two up here, here's one for 25. And here's one for 23, full broken ladders, mixed ladders. This one, I would have bought and listed it for more money, guys. Um, if I could have bought this one for... for uh, Maybe gotten in for six bucks. I probably would have bought this. Um, it, and what it is, is it's a bad way to sell it. Start a low bid on something that doesn't sell every day. You know what I mean? It's not an everyday frequent item. Um See, he got a little more activity, but if you look, the price is about the same. Now, this I really like. This one I actually like. Um, I have one similar to this, but I think it's 11132221. One, 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 two, 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 one. Um, this one's really nice because it's 11112233. One, 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 two, two, three, three. This is called Pairs. Because uh, it's one one, one one, two two, three three. Uh, natural pairs, re um, repeating pairs. Sometimes they call it. I, I'm learning all these terms, guys. Here's a small little five up the one through five. You know they get a few dollars for it. This one is really interesting to me because I just don't understand what brings the value in those mixed lots. I'm going to switch back over and see my questions now. What? Look. Uh... You're not seeing anything I'm doing? Let me open this. Switch back. It works. I see it in my I see it on my screen. Maybe you need to refresh. 
land shark picker if it's not working for you. I remember when it was L at at K. Um, I actually have a flag like that that does very well. Um, <laughs> 8675309 would be a great. Yeah, uh, listen, I'm keeping my eyes out for it. Um, so let me switch back over. I didn't see any real questions. Uh, here's one. Now I'm going to look at the pairs. Now I put in dollar one, uh, dollar sign one, dollar bill pair. The first one that came up is mixed pairs. Uh, then a pair of socks. I really like this image here because I can see exactly what the serial number is. Notice that he gets more bids on it. It's also a really nice bill, but it's you can see it. I don't have to go and look for it. Um, this one, he's got a good title and a crappy picture. He only got one bid. Honestly, I think he would have gotten more bids if he showed the bill like this. Uh, I'm not, I get tired of clicking on this and actually having to go in and look, guys. I've really started to think more like a buyer. And uh, I don't know what his images look like. Let's see what his images look like. See, he has once a while. I mean, I would have used it. And this is a great bill. He could have, he probably could have gotten a little more because this is called a binary. It's two, 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 six, six, two, two, six. A bi and I don't know if you noticed. Look at this. G is in George. G is in George. So even the letters on the end match. So he's got all pairs. The G's match. This is a really nice bill. If somebody would have seen this as a picture, they may have bookmarked it and gone. Listen, if he just got 50 cents more for it, it's 50 cents. But honestly, guys, this is all that I do to, for my research. Um, this is where I want to sell the stuff. Um, see, this guy tried to get the the, the number in. Uh, I don't like beating up people's listings, but, man, I, I, I'm learning so much about images on this kind of stuff. Um, A lot of socks came up with this, although I wanted to see the pair, so I'm going to keep putting it in. I may do, uh, the next time I may do um, advanced search, I believe, exclude words from your search. I think I can put in socks, search, and I should get rid of a lot of those issues and then just see the money. Okay? But I did it. All I did was set it up how I set it up. These bills do not sell often. August, August. Here's one October 4th, October 6th. Um, October 18th on a bid. The last one is trinary. Um, trinary, I, I find... I don't find a, a, a lot of trinaries. Sorry, I was trying to switch windows again, guys. Hi, Judith. How are you? Um, I find quite a few trinaries, so that's why that is there um, and why I'm looking for it. Five of a kind, too. Bill, trinary. It's a trinary bill, but he does not have liar's poker in it. I, you know, he's got all this space over here. He could have used liar's poker. This guy lost money. Look at this. One bid, 99 cents, free shipping. If I run an auction on something like this, where it's not an everyday occurrence, 
I am not going to start my auction at 99 cents. Ain't going to happen. No way. No how. I will figure this out. Like I said, 276, I make 52 cents or something less the cost of the envelope, which is, uh, you know, I just, I just got a hundred envelope for uh, a buck. So, you know, you're looking at a penny a piece. So probably making 50 cents with one bid. You have to take that into consideration, but here's a guy that took an attempt at making this. All right. He's got a nice bill here. This is actually a nice serial number. He got some action on it. Uh, he got lucky with the free shipping. Personally, myself, I would have made this more pronounced. I would have made this part of the bill what it was and then have him come in and look. The other thing is he only took a picture of one side. He has no reverse. Um. I, I, I'm not picking these people's things. Uh, I'm not picking their listings apart to be mean to them, guys. Understand. Were they using stars back during the silver certificates? Yes, I believe so. But I don't believe I believe it's in front and not behind John uh, Arthur. I'm sorry. Um, I believe I don't know. Uh, it's a great question. I will try and answer it for you next time. I, I just don't know. But, guys, what you just seen me do is what I do. I do this when I did the reading glasses, and everybody said, well, they don't sell. Well, I sell them. I don't make a fortune. I don't make a fortune with the reading glasses, but they are selling. Um, and that was the object was to prove that something like that would sell. And I, I, re, I believe it will pick up in time, the reading glasses. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not looking to sell a lot of this money, guys. This really is my hobby. This is not something I want to sell. Um, I'm not doing this for, for sales. I'm doing this to actually keep me away from the business. That's my goal is to keep myself away from the business. Um, and Lori and I enjoy it. We like to jump in the car. We're, right now we're in Laughlin, Nevada. Uh, we hit Bullhead City, a couple of banks in Bullhead City. So I feel like a bank robber when I say that. I hit a bank for some money. Um, we ended up having to go to Lake Havasu to actually find the Bank of America. That was Tuesday. We ended up driving like four hours that day. But we like to jump in the car and go see the scenery and have lunch and do those kinds of things. So this fits into that because I could stop at the bank and buy money um, and then bring it back and search it. Uh, Wells Fargo here in Bullhead City said, well, just bring it back. We'll count it. Well, you tell us what you want the next time and we'll give it back to you. So I found a bank that'll work with me on that. I don't think I'm going to get into coins. Um, coins tend to be messy. And although I'm across the street from a casino where they will take them free, in most areas, you have a hard time getting turning coins back in. Because the banks have to pay for coin service. Um, so anybody have any questions? And guys, understand, I am no expert in this. I keep saying that because I don't want anybody jumping on here saying, oh, he thinks he's an expert. I'm really not. All I'm showing you is what I'm doing. I, I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. I just want you to see how I do it. Um, any questions, guys? Because I'm getting ready to go. If not, uh, Arthur, thank you for stopping by. Landshark Picker, I always appreciate all your comments. Uh, listen, if I find that bill, 8675309, understand something. I will announce that I'm auctioning it off. 
I don't want them in a mixed order. It has to be 8675309, and I don't care what the last digit is. I really would like it to be a zero, where I would like the first uh, the, the, the first number to be a zero. Uh, I really would enjoy selling that one. Any questions, guys? I really don't need to share my screen anymore, which means you can see me big. Um, if not, Landshark Picker, I walked in and said, look, I don't look like a freaking businessman. Uh, I've already spoken to my accountant. Now, it may be because I have dealings with this bank already with my business, and I run several million dollars through the bank legitimately for my business. I said, look, this is what I want to do. How do I do it so that it doesn't look like money laundering or that I'm a drug dealer? I said, I'm not going to shave. And uh, we sat down, we discussed it, and she said, as long as I... I'm just bringing it in and exchanging it. They don't care. They really don't care because to start the process, I have to give them my debit card for my bank account with them. I have to have a bank account with them. And as soon as they swipe that card, it comes up. My accounts come up and they see that I have business accounts with them. And they kind of just, okay, he's fine. I'm well under the limit. Of money? Yeah, I know. No, no, I understand that, Landshark Picker. I'm putting it out there right now, what I did, because um, I really feared that. I really was worried about that because I can't have them lock up my business account over a couple thousand dollars. Uh, you know, buying and, buying and trading money in and out all the time. She said, if I was to hit different banks, it may be a problem um, for large sums of money. But to come into one bank and just use one bank as my bank and with them knowing what I do, they're not going to give me the same money that I take, turn in. Uh, it may happen at times, um, but I'm dealing in large blocks. I try to get bricks, which is a thousand bills wrapped in plastic um they can order them in from the fed for me and she said that because of the casinos they deal in tens of millions of ones a year so it's not a problem uh lori arthur is saying hello, oh, hello. guys i haven't had dinner yet it is 10 to 6 and i'm a little hungry so i'm gonna get going Right. I do understand that, too. And I don't have a problem filling out those reports. Um, and they told me that it's no big deal because of my business. I shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. But, guys, that brings up a good point that I'm going to close with. Um, Landshark Pickers talk talking about legalities with the bank. I know that there are people out there doing this to tell you to go to one bank and get a hundred and go over here and get a hundred and kind of wishy-washy it all around. It looks suspicious. Take the time. Walk. If you're even considering this, walk in, sit down with the bank, um, sit down with a banker and explain to them what you're doing, what you're thinking about doing. Be honest with them. Tell them, look, I want to get a thousand ones. I want to go through them all and find the star notes and I'm going to sell them on eBay. I'm trying to make a couple of bucks to keep my lights on. And they're going to say, oh, that's great. Or they may say, we can't do that. Um, but if you're honest, I've always dealt with honesty. If you're honest, they're going to know. So, guys, with that being said, God loves you. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. There's a subscribe button on here somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is anymore. Um, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. 
if you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. You know why? It still shows that there was interaction between you and I, and YouTube likes it. So I don't mind the negative thumbs down, guys. Leave a comment. If you have a question, ask me in the comments. Guys, I really am going to try and keep this to just money. I know that I talk about eBay. Um, I'm not going to bring in the monster that I deal with on a daily basis somewhere else. Um, uh, that's where I really want to keep this to the hobby and just money. That being said, I'm out. Good night. God bless, man. I hope to see you soon.